Welcome to another episode of Things You Don't Know, the podcast that looks at little-known facts about well-known people and events, little-known people and events, and the impact they have had, and always seeks to entertain. Greetings, listeners. This is somewhat of a departure from our typical podcast. We want to give special thanks to Bunny Tandhill for her consultation and for sharing her special attachment to the ponies of Chinkatink. Ms. Tanhill has been involved with horses since childhood. Almost 60 years ago, she owned a Chinkatink pony she named Yakadiak. As a young teen, she rode, rode in the International Horse Show in Washington, D.C., and has spent years working in animal husbandry as a veterinary assistant and a trainer. Her assistance in putting this profile together has been a valuable asset. This profile concerns a mystery and a national treasure. There is a group of settlers who came to North America sometime between 1500 and 1600. Uh, where they came from and how they got here are unknown, although there are legends and theories. These settlers are unique in many ways, including the fact that they were settled before the USA was established. Today, their homeland is protected by the federal government and the Commonwealth of Virginia. They are amazing athletes. Not only can they jump higher than their head, but they can do it while carrying a person. They found a way to survive incredible hardships, including lack of food and water, lack of shelter, and in some instances, the efforts of people to satisfy greed at the expense of these stalwarts. Their story has been told, yet they are dependent on the wisdom and goodwill of good people to survive. They are known for having a kind and good nature and possessing a native curiosity fueled by significant intelligence. Who are these amazing settlers? They are a wild herd of ponies of Chincotink and Astatink Islands, which are in the bay off the mainland of Virginia. Part of Assetink is owned by Merrill. They are called ponies because they do not grow over four feet, eight inches in height. They are stout, tend to have big bellies, and are very sturdy. The round bellies develop because the grass they eat is saltwater marsh grass, and therefore has a very high salt level. So the ponies must consume in excess of 30 gallons of water per day. They are widely thought to be among the most intelligent breeds of horses and are easily tamed and become comfortable with humans. They were given the status of being a unique breed in 1994. Uh, there are two legends concerning how the ponies got to Chickatake and Astatakal Islands. One legend is that they escaped from the wreckage of a Spanish galleon headed for Peru in the early 1500s. Another legend is that they were brought from the mainland by settlers in the early 1600s. There is some evidence supporting both eh, legends and both scenarios probably happened to some greater or lesser extent. Personally, I believe the majority of the herd came from the shipwrecks. Genetically, the ponies have similarities to several breeds, including Arabian, Shetland, and Mustang breeds. In addition, the numerous sandbars in the Chincoteague and Chesapeake Bay areas accounted for hundreds of shipwrecks, some of which were carrying horses. Horses are indeed fascinating animals. Horses have been established to be some of the most intelligent creatures on earth most often uh, thought to be somewhere between the ninth and 12th most intelligent based on several different studies. Although I don't think they ever took an intelligence test per se. <laughs> Some interesting facts about horses include the fact that they cannot breathe through their mouths, yet they are very good swimmers. Horses can cough up small amounts, uh, but they cannot vomit. For this reason, they are susceptible to dying from colic. They are social animals and can get quite lonely without companions. Horses are highly empathic. 
if a horse is shown a picture of a human face and later sees the human in person, they react as if responding to the emotion shown in the photograph. Horses have been used in the rehabilitation of humans, particularly people with physical disabilities, emotional issues, and people with criminal behaviors. Interestingly, horses seem to have an ability to predict if criminals are likely to repeat criminal activities. The list of unique and interesting horse facts could go on, but suffice it to say, they are amazing animals. They certainly are. Just so you know, Dr. Weaver, I participated in one of those rehabilitation programs with horses back in the late 80s. It was a lot of hard work, but a lot of fun. Getting back to the history of the chinkatink ponies in the 1700s, the event of pony penning was well established. This event, which includes a pony parade wherein the wild ponies were herded into pens where they could be checked by veterinarians and the public could purchase the ponies, was quite a party. Unfortunately, several fires on Chinkatink Island were poorly managed because of inadequate fi firefighting equipment. In 1925, the town of Chinkatink gave the volunteer fire company authorization to hold a carnival during pony penning to raise funds. The carnival was a wild success and funds were raised to care for the herd as well as to purchase updated equipment for the fire company. The fire company continues to manage the herd to this day. Today, as many as 50,000 visitors watch the ponies swim on the last Wednesday in July. The swim is guarded by observers in boats and on horseback, ready to assist any horses who have difficulty making the five to 10 minute swim from Aztec to Chankatank. Before the swim, the herd is evaluated and mares in late stage pregnancy and those with very young foals are trailered rather than making the swim. Any of the ponies requiring veterinary care are given whatever treatments they need. After the veterinary evaluation and treatment, the larger foals are auctioned off to find new homes. Foals sell from $500 to $2,500. In addition, some of the ponies are sold under the buy-back condition in which a buyer gets to name the pony, which is then returned to the herd. A few closing remarks to provide an insight into these special ponies. A few closing remarks to provide an insight into these special ponies and a few observations concerning Yakety Yak the pony mentioned at the beginning of this profile. Yakety was purchased as a yearling and was small enough to be transported to his new home in the back of a car. He joined a group of seven horses at a small family-owned horse farm. Despite being the smallest member of the new herd, within six months or so, he became the leader of the group. Contrary to what you might expect, Yakety was very gentle and comfortable, even loving towards humans. He would often lay his head on his owner's shoulder, nuzzle her neck, and sometimes he would munch on her hair. However, he had a, a, another mischievous side. He took obvious pleasure in crawling under or jumping over the pasture fence walking uh, over to the gate, unlatching and opening it. He would then lead his herd on a stroll through the neighborhood. Uh, a family member would go and find them and uh, they would simply lead uh, Yakety uh, back to the, the farm and the followers would follow along. He had the heart of a champion Despite his size, he was never left behind in a fox hunt, jumping down trees that some of the larger horses had to go around. His stall had to be locked uh, as he would quickly figure out how to undo a simple latch. Yakety's intelligence, champion heart, and gentleness truly outstandingly represented his breed and heritage. He really sounds like a wonderful animal. If anyone is inspired by this profile, 
it's hoped that you will donate to the maintenance of these noble animals. Furthermore, if you ever get the chance to go and celebrate this hundreds years old event, you will be rewarded with a heartwarming connection to nature and history. If you want to make a donation to help preserve this herd, you can go to this site, http colon forward slash forward slash www dot c-h-i-n-c-o-t-e a-g-u-e pony rescue that's all one word dot org forward slash we hope you have enjoyed this episode and will join us again goodbye folks